I'm Frank May with Chattanooga Cab and Company in the Great Backyard. Welcome to our virtual tour of our tiny log homes. This is really exciting. They're actually built plug and play. You can roll into a place that you've got ready. You're going to need septic or sewer hookup and electrical, but you're ready to rock and roll after that. The thing comes complete with lighting fixtures. It comes with built-in cabinetry if you specify. Staining, polyurethaning's all done. You've got wood walls, you've got the HVAC. Uh, you're basically ready to live in it within two weeks of getting it. So it's a really, really good, quick solution. Pretty darn affordable as well. Uh, they're gonna range from forty dollars to $70,000 depending upon the features and the size that you're going for. The models that you're gonna see here are called the Wahatchee and the Wahatchee Bunkhouse. And they're in the 60 to 62 range, as you're gonna see it. Now, the way that we have completed these on the outside is entirely, obviously, to your discretion. However you bring them in. We put stone skirts on the outside, some people put wood skirts, some people put siding. We put a large wraparound deck, uh, hot tubs in the back. So we've actually, you know, just really invested in the outdoor space because when you got a home this small, you kind of want to spread out. And people who uh, like these, uh, like these simple, simple, easy to maintain homes, uh, really like to be outside, honestly. Um, so it's it's really ideal to do whatever you want to do, and we're going to show you some of the options, some things to consider as you move forward. So we're going to move around this unit and uh, kind of give you a little dime tour here. The cabins are 12 feet wide, so coming 10 foot off, and then we put a spa deck in the back. Um, obviously, that's entirely up to you what you do with it. You put a swimming pool, put nothing, uh, put a fire pit. We're going to do them all eventually here at uh, Wahatchee Woodlands, which is what this development is called. Okay, so we're going to come on up to the front porch and uh, ample space for a dining for four on the front porch. Oftentimes people want to put counter height furniture right here so you can see over the railing without any problem. And uh, then we're going to step inside. Uh, as we enter, this is the living room. It's in the bunkhouse because we're sleeping more. You know, we're a little tighter in the living space. We got room for a love seat, not a sofa. But in the Wahatchee, we got room for a sofa. We can spread out a little bit. And the kitchen, it's you got one big open room right here. So you've got the kitchen uh, attached. You've got the bar with seating for four. Upstairs, right beside us, we're going to walk up to the loft. Now, mind you, because of DOT regulations, there is a certain height that these can be built and then moved on the highway. We're maxing out what we can build these to in height, which gives you about four feet of clearance in the loft. So these are not walk around lofts, these are sleeping lofts, all right? Great for kids, probably not handy for a 50 year old couple. And um, we're gonna come back down out of the loft here in the hall of the bunk unit on the left, we have the built-in bunk beds. You're gonna come with two drawers in the bottom. The bunk beds come with railings. Across the hall, we've got the bathroom. We do have a door right here that's gonna to close to the master bedroom. And in the master bedroom, in this particular model, we made a little bit of change. We put the door in the side and the uh, washer dryer unit in the master bedroom. So you have limited storage in the master bedroom. When you look at the other model, you've got gadwads of storage. As we enter, you're going to notice immediately the sofa's on the opposite side. It's a three-person sofa. You've got room for a three-person sofa and a chair. You've got understair storage. Great for the luggage, right? Because you don't have that in the master bedrooms. Those master bedrooms are kind of tight. They're 10 by 11 on the inside in the bunkhouse, and you're about 11 by 11 in the Wahatchee model. Uh, the kitchen is pressed back toward those bunks and the washer and dryer are in the hallway. So they're no longer in the master bedroom. So everything else is pretty similar. The steps are going up the side in the Wahatchee instead of uh, parallel with the length of the cabin. And when we get into the master bedroom, you'll see that we got an extra foot of width in the uh, master bedroom. A lot of room to spread out, tons of cabinetry. You've got four armoires and one, two, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12 drawers. So everybody could put their stuff in there. But you got sleeping for four unless you put a pull-out sofa. You do have room for a pull-out sofa if, uh, if you choose to do that, but you're getting pretty tight when you cram that many people. Remember, 
These are classifiably tiny homes. They're some of the most spacious tiny homes you'll ever see. Some of the cutest, I would argue, and some of the most functional spaces you're gonna see. We have eight models to choose from. So the two that you see represented here are just the tip of the iceberg. There are options, like staining options, cabinetry options, flooring options, exterior staining. Even the, even the uh, roofing material, we're using unfinished tin. You can get painted tin, you get red, green, gray. Uh, you can, rather than doing um, this kind of burnt orange that you see on the out exterior, we've got grays, we've got dark walnuts, and we've got natural finishes. So there's, there's a lot to work with while keeping the idea simple and production costs down. Finally, it's worth noting uh, that if you want one of these for yourself to retire into, to scale down into, to have a second home, to put on the side of the lake, to use as rentals as they are here, uh, vacation rentals, there's a two, generally speaking, a two month lead time on production. Very simple process though. You make a deposit of $2,000, which is refundable up to 30 days prior to production. 30 days prior to production, you're gonna pay 50% down. At the time of delivery, you're gonna pay the other 50%. So uh, there's various ways to finance them. You can do, you can take your own route and you can talk to us about finan financing options. We're trying to make this as simple and convenient as possible. And we, the unique thing about Chattanooga Cabin Company too is that we can take the project start to finish. We can enhance the exterior, we can, do, we can handle the stonework, the deck work, pavilions and pergolas, hot tubs and patio furniture. We can take care of the entire vision for you or none of it. You can simply buy the cabin, have us bring it, put it into place and you take care of the rest or you can contract the whole project. So. It's a solution for everyone looking to simplify their lives in a very charming, natural setting with all the convenience of modern homes. You know, high-speed Wi-Fi, uh, HVAC units, two-head units, there are many splits. You've got one in the master bedroom and then one in the living room. You've got all your appliances. You've got the uh, oven, the stove, microwave, a dishwasher. You can remove the dishwasher and have more cabinetry. Most people prefer to have that option, a double sink, uh, ample, ample space for storage and dishes. Um, so anyway, call the Chattanooga Cabin Company. We'll talk about your options and we can customize this thing for you.